Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's read about functions as values. A function binding usually simply acts as a name for a specific piece of the program. Such a binding is defined once and never changed. This makes it easy to confuse the function and its name. But the two are different. A function value can do all the things that other values can do. You can use it in arbitrary expressions, not just call it. It is possible to store a function value in a new binding, pass it as an argument to a function, and so on. Similarly, a binding that holds a function is still just a regular binding and can, if not constant, be assigned to a new value. So for, that just means like the const. Remember we had the function earlier that was like const have equals whatever the function was? Uh, that's what they mean by constant. Uh, like so, let launch missiles be a function, missile system dot launch now. Um, well, I wish they wouldn't do stuff like that, but that's okay. Um, what I mean to say is that we are kind of defining something here that I think can be a little difficult to understand because what we're assuming here is that missile system has a method inside of it called launch, um, which can take in a string. I just, I don't know that we've defined that anywhere uh, previously. Maybe it was in chapter two. Well, let's forgive them. So anyway, let missiles, uh, launch missile be a function that if the missile system dot launch uh, now, okay, and then if safe mode, so we've got some variable safe, some binding called safe mode. So if we are in safe mode, likely meaning if safe mode is equal to true, um, launch missiles is now going to be equal to a function that doesn't do anything. Okay. So fair enough. And uh, we can run this, but it's not really going to do anything. As you can see, safe mode is not defined. So let's go ahead and help them out here. We'll say let safe mode equal true. And... See if that works. Okay. Well, perhaps instead of doing nothing, we could console.log something. Uh, the missiles did not launch. That makes it sound like it was an error. Um, how about all is well? Yeah, that'll work. So if we go ahead and run this, again, we're not going to see anything. And the reason why is that we haven't actually called any of these functions. That happens to so many people at the beginning. Uh, defining a function is not the same as calling the function. Uh, so when we call a function, that's the only time that we're going to see anything that that function does. Every time that we write functions and run it, nothing actually happens. You're, uh, basically the controller's like, okay, cool, so those are functions, uh, well done. And then kind of, you know, hangs up its head and goes home. In chapter five, we will discuss the interesting things that can be done by passing around function values to other functions. And by interesting, they mean mind-meltingly difficult to understand the first time that you see it. Those are higher order functions. And, um, well, they're kind of rough. And I don't mean rough in terms of like a utility or a tool. They're actually incredibly powerful and useful. It's just the first time that people learn it, they tend to have a difficult time with it. But we'll do that together when we get there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.